Hello and welcome to Basic Trigonometry with DreamCal, the ultimate scientific calculator for Windows. So let's get started. Here we have a right angle triangle. Let's find the length of side x given that we know one of the angles is 35 degrees and that the opposite side is 110 units in length. Now we can use the fictional word Sokotoa to help memorize the basic trigonometric relations between angles and sides for right angle triangles. Here the word Sokotoa reminds us that the sine of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine equals the adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent equals the opposite over adjacent. The two sides we are concerned with here however are the opposite and the hypotenuse x. Therefore the relation we need to use is this one. Sine alpha equals the opposite over the hypotenuse where alpha is the angle. Substituting the values for our triangle gives us the sine of 35 degrees equals 110 divided by x. And if we rearrange to solve for x, we get x equals 110 divided by sine 35. So now let's go ahead and use DreamCalc to calculate the result. First we need to ensure that the angle mode is set to use degrees. Base end mode. Angle mode. Degrees. And key in the values. 1. 1. 0. Divided by. Sine. 3. 5. Equals. 191.779. We can then copy the result into the clipboard. Copy. And paste it into our presentation to finish. Here we have a different triangle. In the previous example, we found the length of a side given that we already knew an angle and one of the other sides. Here we are instead going to find the angle, given that we know two of the sides to begin with. Again, the word Sokotoa reminds us that if we know the opposite and adjacent sides, as shown, we need the tangent relationship. Where tan alpha equals the opposite divided by adjacent lengths. It's worth noting that the unit of length is not important here because the value we obtain is a ratio of lengths rather than the length itself and is therefore unitless. So substituting for known lengths gives us tan alpha equals 60 over 30 which is equal to 2. Now to solve for alpha in this case we need to apply the inverse of the tangent function rather than the tangent function itself in order to get alpha on its own on the left hand side of the equation. The inverse tangent is commonly known as arctangent or arctan for short and is often written using a minus one superscript as follows. Angle alpha equals arctan. 2. We can now calculate the result with DreamCalc, but note how we use the shifted tan key to input the arctan function. All clear. Shift. Arctangent. 2. Equals. 63.435. So let's copy the result. Copy and paste it into the page to finish.
As a final exercise, it's interesting to plot the sine, cosine and tangent functions over a range of input angles to see how they behave. So let's use the DreamCalc graphing window to do this. Here we will plot sine and cosine on the same graph. Now, plot A shows the sine function and plot B the cosine function. As we can see, they are identical except for a 90 degree phase difference between their respective input values. Now let's take a look at the tangent function. We notice that this looks somewhat different to sine and cosine. And if we zoom in, it's clear that as the input approaches 90 degrees, the result tends towards infinity. This makes sense when we consider that as we draw a series of triangles with an increasingly large angle, the opposite side becomes ever longer. Ultimately, however, no matter how big a triangle we draw, the angle will always be less than 90 degrees. Thank you for watching. Please visit dreamcalc.com and click like in the lower bar if you enjoyed this video.